And one of the things that I've mentioned over and over is having each project always moving in a forward direction. One of the most challenging things as a builder that has multiple projects or multiple homes being built is how to prioritize your team to get to completion. Recently, we've had a lot of closeouts. We closed out a custom in November that bled over to a few weeks in December. We closed out two specs in January and February, and we're closing out an amazing custom build, which is our Mid-Mountain Shadows project in PV. So what do we do with all the other builds that we have going on? Well, currently we're sitting at Catalina, and I'd like to talk about some of the things that come into play when trying to manage multiple projects. And one of the things that I've mentioned over and over is having each project always moving in a forward direction. As most builders would know, and some of the previous videos that we've shot, is the closeout craziness that takes place. And really during that closeout phase, there's a massive amount of effort and it really needs to be your number one priority to be able to button up all the little pieces that make our homes truly unique and special. But by having that priority, a lot of times it will take your focus off of some of the other projects. But there's always something that we could be doing to push things along. And that's what we're gonna talk about today at Catalina. Ultimately, while our other projects have taken precedent as they've closed out month after month after month, ultimately this project has slowly been humming along in a positive direction. Right now we're sitting outside and one of the biggest pushes that we're able to make that is gonna make a huge difference in this project is getting all of our hardscape and landscape prep taken care of. So let's talk about what that entails. So the first time we already discussed on another video which is entitled Gas Drops, which you guys should go take a look at, would be taking care of our gas drops as well as our sprinkler conduit to be able to get to wherever we need to get within the landscape plan prior to us pouring slab or putting in our hardscape, whether that be slab or pavers. In this case, we're able to push this project along pretty thoroughly by getting all those drops in place and getting a lot of the underground work taken care of. The second item that we're gonna talk about is completing our hardscape. As you can see behind me, our team at Spartan Concrete, which is one of our trade partners that does finished acid washed flat work in the valley. One of the nice things is that now they have the lot to themselves for quite a few weeks to be able to take care of all the ins and outs that go with making sure that the grades are appropriately dug out for the AB that will be laid in place prior to them finishing all of the concrete flat work at our project Catalina. As for myself, I'm super excited to see how this detail plays out as it will create a minimalistic feel where there won't be a ton of seams and there won't be a ton of joints that you would have in a standard paver installation around the pool. So we were able to wrap this concrete from basically the covered patio all the way out, cantilevering over the pool edge, dropping into our sunken fire pit, as well as acting as our coping edge that will cantilever around this uniquely shaped pool that we were able to keep intact that we discussed on another video previously. The uniformity of the concrete will also take place in the front yard with the acid edge driveway as well as the front patio and walkways. The third item that helps us to get closer to completion would be the cutting of the basins that are required for our GND. Being able to take care of this ahead of time with less people on the lot is a huge benefit when bringing large machinery onto the lot. All this is in conjunction with being able to push our landscape further along. By the time that our team gets on site again full time, we'll minimize the amount of steps that are necessary to get to a punch out stage, which ultimately reduces the closeout craziness that we've been dealing with some of our closeouts that have taken place over the last couple months. So when we're looking at moving forward in the right direction all the time, ultimately we have two key aspects that will allow us to do that without a lot of animosity between our trade partners. And that's gonna be divided between the interior work and the exterior work. So ultimately we covered a lot of the exterior work that's able to take place. The other thing that's great about the exterior work that's taking place now is it actually needs a lot less oversight than some of the finishing details that are required when punching out a house. Ultimately what this does is it allows us to be able to get one step closer to completion and it allows us to be able to space out our trade partners appropriately. And while this doesn't always work, but when it does, it goes a long way to helping develop better relationships with those involved with the project. 
Ultimately, we're just a week or two away from closing out our Mid-Modern Shadows project. And as soon as that happens, we'll have our whole team focused on the next priority, punching this house out, getting it ready for market, and allowing us to be able to move on to the next couple projects that we have coming out of the ground. We're so excited that you're following us at Rebuild the Block. If you ever have any questions about building here in Phoenix, don't hesitate to reach out, shoot us a DM, or email us at info at Rebuild the Block for more information. Click below to subscribe and have a great day.